Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be covering how to uh, set up MCP and Eclipse and Mod Loader so you can begin programming within Minecraft to make your own mods. Um, now I have done this tutorial in the past, um, but uh, it's a little outdated now because a lot of the AI has changed. So when you look at the code from that video, and uh, but when you look at the code... Now, it looks a lot different um, because of the guy they hired, I believe, in 1.8. I could be wrong, um, to do the new AI. Uh, so it looks a lot different, and in fact, it's kind of a lot easier um, to look at it and stuff like that. Uh, but it does look different, so it might be intimidating. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set up MCP with Eclipse and Mod Loader. Uh, that way, we can start making nods uh, for Minecraft. So you're going to want to go to the links in the description. Uh, if you don't already have it, you want the Java JDK, which is different than the, your normal Java. Um, uh, it's free, of course. Um, obviously, you do need Java, which hopefully you do if you are playing Minecraft. It requires it. Um, but here we go, Java JDKs. Just click this download button, and it'll take you to this page. And it has uh, Linux, um, and it has Solaris. <laughs> it has a bunch of things no one ever cares about. Um, but it also just has uh, Windows down here. Uh, for 64-bit, it's actually x86, and for 32-bit, it's x64. Download the right one for you um, with this link. Install that, and uh, that's that. It's free, of course. So now that we're done with the JDK, uh, you need Eclipse. So you can go to the other link in the description. <laughs> Another link. And it's um, eclipse.org slash downloads. Um, and right here, you want Eclipse Classic. You can either choose Windows 32 or 64. Um, so yeah, choose, choose, choose whatever one you have. If you're not sure which one you have, uh, go to your start icon. Go to computer. Right click and click properties. And right here, mine says 64-bit operating system. Wow. All right, so that's that. Um, so that's how you know. Next, you want to go to the MCP link in the description below. And uh, this is the Minecraft Coder Pack. And uh, you want to click under Releases, MCP 7. Well, maybe in the future they'll have more updates. But right here it says for Minecraft 1.3.2. Now, if Minecraft... 1.4 is already out. Um, this typically updates very soon afterwards, so uh, no need to worry about that. And I'm sure this tutorial will still be valid. And if not, let me know if things have changed, and I'll try to help you out. And if I can't help you out through text, I'll make another video showing how to set this up. Cool. So just click this link. It'll take you to, I believe, a Mediafire page. Yes. And then you want to click this button. It says download, not any of these other uh, piece of poo <laughs> lying downloading pages and look ah ah all right let's get out of here stupid home depot trying to push their revenue on me nope not happening all right next thing we're gonna need is minecraft uh you want to go to download right here and uh within the download page minecraft.net slash downloads it'll be in the description below you want to download the server jar i believe i already have one of my downloads so i'll just download it Download it again. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so we have the server. Dot jar. All right. Um. So now we have all of those. Um. You need mod loader. Uh. Which, if you've modded before, I'm sure you're you're familiar with mod loader. Um. But it'll be in the page below. And there's a lot of mods on this page. So you want to scroll down. And it's typically the first one. Uh, you can download via AdFi. Uh, it'll just give you add, wait five seconds, then click skip, or you can just download direct, which will just start downloading immediately, and it won't take you anywhere. So that's nice. Um, so just click down download direct or AdFi, whatever. Um, I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. Look at all this promotion. This show's probably going to suck. Okay. Uh, so now that we have all of that, let's uh, kind of minimize this and put this on my desktop. All right, thumbs up for low grain desktop backgrounds. Low quality grainy, that's what I meant. Okay, so here's our four files. I have put my MCP in a folder called MCP. 
These are just all the files that are in the zip that you download. I put all the files that you get when you download Eclipse in a file called Eclipse. And I have my mod loader here and I have the server here. Our next step is you want to run Minecraft and uh, you're going to want to force an update. Uh, which means it's just gonna down it's gonna re-download all of your files uh, it'll leave your saves alone um, but it's gonna get rid of any mods you have and stuff like that because it has to be a nice clean slate um, so if you go to options force update done then log in you're gonna be good to go I already did that before the video started so we're fine um, so let's go ahead and go to our start icon and uh, if you're on Windows 7 you want to type in run Oops, yeah, run. Uh, click on the run icon and type in percent sign app data percent sign and click OK. Uh, if you're on uh, Windows XP, I believe it's just run in the start menu. Um, so now we're going to go to Minecraft. Dot Minecraft. Um, all the shen and poops is here, but all we want is the bin and resources folder. And we're going to copy these. I like them both. Control C, copied. Uh, go into your MCP, go into the jars folder in the MCP, and paste those two files in there. And give it a sec. It's 50.1 megabytes of pure awesome. And uh, so it might take a minute. Depending on how fast your computer is. Alright, almost done. Almost done. Alright, cool. Um, so now, on top of that, we want to take our server uh, that we downloaded from Minecraft.net and plop it in there. Alright. Uh, now, on top of everything, we want to go to our bin. We want to go to Minecraft, uh, the Minecraft.jar. Right click on it and open it with WinRAR Archiver. If you don't have this, uh, I'll put a link in the description below and you can download it. Very necessary for anything Minecraft. Very. Alright. So we are going to go ahead and open up Mod Loader with WinRAR Archiver and take all of these files, I'm sure if you're familiar with installing mods, and just drop them in to our folder. Cool. And you're going to want to delete this meta in file, which I heard isn't completely necessary, but uh, it's a good idea to do anyways. So there you go. Now we have um, our... MCP pretty much set up with only a few more steps to go so let's go ahead and open up MCP again and uh, we're gonna run decompile the batch file right here uh, this dot sh is for Mac users um, so this is obviously a Windows tutorial so if you click decompile dot bat it might take a while uh, in fact it is going to take a while uh, so I'm probably going to skip ahead um, it'll take a, just a few minutes but um, I don't want to have you guys to sit and watch so magic skip time all right so we're back um it's done decompiling now as you can see here um so it's gonna just say press any key to continue and we're gonna do so and if we hop in to a file and hop out um it'll just organize from all the new files and if we go into source we have our things now if you saw my old tutorials you'll know what to do from here um, we have all these Java files. Oh, excuse me. Um, uh, which is pretty much the code of the game. Uh, which we can open with um, Notepad++ if you want to do it that way. But I know a better way. Which is using Eclipse. Um, but if you really wanted to, we can click Edit with Notepad++. And it's going to open. And here we go. Here's our code. But we're not going to do that. Instead, we are going to uh, go back to our main page just for kicks and giggles. Minimize this and open up Eclipse, our folder Eclipse, and we want to run it. And it's going to be like, Eclipse! Um, yeah. So it's going to start up, and I believe there's no installation required because when you download it, it's just all the files are already there. Alright, so it's going to just take a few seconds for Eclipse to boot up, and now it's going to ask us where we want our workspace to be. So we're going to click Browse, and we're going to find our MCP folder. And inside the MCP folder, we want to find the Eclipse folder. Just click on the Eclipse folder, and then click OK. So our thing should look something like 
desktop MCB Eclipse if you put your thing on the desktop. So there we go. No other things after that. And then we're going to click OK. If it wants to let me click OK. Or maybe the program just loves... Is it, did it crash? No. It just wanted to be dumb. OK. So then you click OK. And it's going to load up all of the bench work. And uh, work benches and all that shenanigans poops. And uh, just going to take a few seconds to load. All right, here we go. So now we have our um, thing open in Eclipse, which is what we're going to be doing our main programming in. Um, so now I'm just going to give you a tour of what it looks like. Now inside the silent, um, which is what we're going to be working on, if you want to make server mods, you can. Um, ignore all these warnings down here, by the way. That's just a bunch of shenanigans. poops. Um, you did everything correctly. Um, if you go into source, Silent source and then net.minecraft.source. That's where all of the files are. All of this other stuff is not really necessary for you. Um, so here we go. Here's all of our Java files. Now you might be asking yourself, why on earth would we want to use this way instead of my older method that I showed you guys last time? Well, person who's asking, say we were to make a change that worked and didn't give us any bugs or anything like that. Um, instead of decompiling, putting in our Minecraft running it again and then once we're done we'd have to force an update and then repeat the process which is very time consuming and a big waste of time instead we could simply save our files up here and then click this play button and this play button is gonna run everything as it is so it's just gonna open a test silent not the actual silent just like a testing silent uh, or client depending on how you pronounce it um, and uh, there we go here's our game so if we would we could create a world um, and we could test out say if we were to modify the zombie which is our next tutorial um, we could test the zombie and we could immediately see that it's running faster and stuff like that just like the normal game so instead of installing it uh, you go th all through that process and then you could decompile it um, so it makes life easier so let's exit out of that oh excuse me oh and then it says someone's closing me. Oh no. Alright, so that's our first tutorial. It's kind of long, but hopefully you guys understood everything. If you didn't, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you. Um, but that's it for our, I guess it's like the second season of modding tutorials. I don't know. I did these a while back, uh, but it's kind of outdated now. So here you go. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all next time. Bye.